It's your neighborhood hot dog and welcome to my baking studio. Let's dive right in and make some scones. Start by whisking together all of your dry ingredients. Once combined, shred in your butter using a cheese grater. If you don't have a cheese grater, you can always do the pinch and squish method like this. Continue to work your flour and butter together. When your flour and butter are evenly coated and your butter is the size of a pea, stop mixing. Set aside your dry ingredients and mix together all of your cold, wet ingredients and pour directly into our dry. Begin to knead by hand until shaggy and then add in your raisins. Dump your dough onto a floured work surface and begin to incorporate the rest of the ingredients. Flatten your dough out and cut in half, stacking one half over the other. Repeat this two or three times and then refrigerate for 30 minutes. This is how we achieve those really flaky layers. Now take your chilled dough and roll out to about an inch thick. Using a bench scraper or a knife, cut your dough on a horizon and then begin to cut out little 90 degree triangles. You can use a cookie cutter as well, I just think that this is the most practical. Brush your scones with buttermilk and sprinkle with demerara sugar or regular sugar and bake at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes depending on how well your oven bakes things. This is a great base recipe. You can sub out the raisins and use any other dried fruit of your choice or even some fresh fruit where you can make them savory. Honestly, the world is your oyster. Thanks so much for watching and let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see me make next. Until next time, stay crusty.